Flynn thinks it's the mayor. This yeah. is a two baseball town. What is this deal? He's a Yankee fan. Yeah, he is. Well, but he is the mayor. You're right. <laughs> I vote for a Mets pep rally for the, for the Mets and their fans. I think here, they deserve here. it. Well, some New York sports fans love to find culprits. I'm going to play Pollyanna. Give the Braves some credit and call it a win-win situation. This team was dead so many times. The fact they got to the 10th inning of game six with the lead was downright miraculous. Sure, they dug the massive hole in the first inning. They looked to Al Leiter as the savior on three days rest, and he had another nightmare first inning. I feel like I let the team down in the sense that, you know, had it not been five, if it's four, if it's three, you know, I mean, you start beating the hell out of your brain like that. You know, maybe it would have been the difference come, you know, the seventh inning. And yet the Mets fought all the way back. Mike Piazza battered and bruised with the game-tying homer. The Mets surely would force a seventh game. We didn't roll over or die and, and, uh, and played so hard the whole year. And it, it's unfortunate and very frustrating that it has to come down to, uh, you know, this game tonight. But... Uh, that's the way it goes. But the pitching left them down in the end. It's John Franco and Armando Benitez. And, of course, Kenny Rogers couldn't stop the Braves from scoring. It all ends on a bases-loaded walk. Another improbable ending for a series that just about had it all. I can't reverse it. You know, I can't go back there and try and get a do-over or anything. But uh, it just didn't happen. Not for lack of effort ever. It's never that. Just couldn't get the ball where I wanted to on that pitch. It took me 16 years to get here and to get so close. Uh, it's hard, but uh, you know, life goes on, and uh, hopefully next year we'll be celebrating. Well, I had a view from the photographer's booth for the 10th and 11th innings. That's right virtually in the dugout. That's where this shot was taken from the moment it ended. The Mets consoling each other as this incredible ride was finally over. 19 days into a month that they very nearly didn't have at all. I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm just kind of numb right now, and... Um, I'm very just, I said I'm proud uh, to be a part of this ball club. It was, uh, you know, obviously a lot of fun and, and uh, you know, a little crazy at the same time. Um, you know, but you're disappointed. I mean, especially, uh, you know, the way tonight's game is. You come back from from uh, a deficit like that and, and it, you know, I think it's, it's fun to go through a game like that even though you lose. But, uh, you know, you're not guaranteed anything. We'll never forget his Grand Slam single. This isn't the day to talk about changes the Mets need for next season. I thought they did pretty well with what they had, although there will be changes. So Braves and Yanks, Saturday, game one in Atlanta. Joe Torre with some thoughts on the series. They could not get out of the bottom of the first without themselves a huge hole. Eddie Perez added two more and he killed the Mets again in this series. A bases loaded single. It was 5 nothing after one inning. And the Mets seemed like they were buried once again, trailing three games to two. They rose back from the dead, though, back within 7-3, and then eventually Piazza in the seventh, a two-run home run, was first of the series, and the Mets had tied it at seven apiece. And we go to the top of the eighth inning. It's eight to eight, first and third, and one down after the team's exchange runs in the eighth inning. Todd Pratt again, sacrifice fly, Agbayani running and beating the tag to give the Mets a 9-8 lead. In the bottom of the tenth, Ozzie Guillen singled to right. That scored Andrew Jones. Though Morris' throw prevented any more damage, and we were tied at nine. Now to the bottom of the eleventh inning, Kenny Rogers in the pitch. Gerald Williams on a high pitch. Up in the strike zone, doubles into the left field corner. Brett Boone, an excuse me, sacrifice, moves him to third. That set up the final sequence to intentional walks and then the bases loaded walk, which ended the Mets season on a 3-2 pitch to Andrew Jones and the agony and disappointment on the face of Bobby Valentine. Well, let's not say that everything was perfect. You know? Well, let's not say that everybody did the right thing, but the majority ruled here, and the majority was made up of uh, excellent guys and excellent baseball players, and uh, uh, I'm very, very proud of that group. I think everybody in this room should be proud of the way we, we played the last two and a half, three weeks, and when everybody counted us out, uh, we can't.